Hey guys, this is Misty from Mac Jewelry here to show you the Jules bracelet that I had made. Now in the last video I showed you how to make the earrings, just the component itself, and turned it into earrings. And now I'm going to show you this bracelet. <clears throat> now as you can tell I've already started it. And it's just the same as you make the... Uh, make the earrings but you're adding on to it what you're going to need is round duos tilas and 80 c bead um yeah 80 c beads and you're going to need a cup button now the cup button and the duos you can get exclusively with potomac beat company so check them out and let's get started now I went in and started this because if I didn't, it was going to take forever to make. To You know, the video would be just like super long. So, what? go ahead and make your first component. And I'm going to go ahead and show you how to <clears throat> add on. And what you're going to do is, is after you've done your first component, you're going to come out of a super duo, out of a, a round duo. And you're going to go up through the top hoe of the same duo that you're coming out of. Now when you start this bracelet, I guess I should say that you need to leave a tail long enough to add on um, your clasp. And whatever kind of clasp you're using, whether it's a cup button or whether it's... Um, a lobster claw whatever you want to do so you want to come out of that top hoe of your round duo now when you add on it's the same way every time you'll pick up a sea bead a tila a sea bead a tila sea bead tila sea bead Tila and a sea bead and this is what you should lay down here this is what you should have on your thread is a sea bead after each Tila you should have four Tila's on there now this is basically right angle weave <clears throat> what you want to do is go back through the duo that you're coming out of to make a circle you want to pull now what I didn't tell you at the beginning of this I probably should is you need some wildfire and fire line or fire line I'm using 006 you can use 8 if you want I'm using it in white because that's what I have um, you're gonna need of course scissors a size 10 12 beading needle whichever you have either one will work now what you're gonna do is you're gonna go back through all these beads you just added you want to keep a good tension because you don't want a floppy bracelet and this is just to reinforce and I'm going to try to stay in frame here and go back through <clears throat> excuse me the duo the round duo that you're coming out of now you want to go up through the seed bead next to the round duo And you want to go through the top hoe of the Tila next to the CB that you're coming out of. Oops. And you're going to pull it. Now, just like with the first component, you're going to pick up a CB, a duo, and a CB. And you're going to go through the next Tila bead, top hoe of the Tila bead. Go through the top hoe of the next Tila bead and pull. And you can do this all the way around. Ouch. And you're going to pull again. Keep good tension. I don't have a pause on my camera. So unfortunately I have to go through the whole thing. 
and it could be really boring and I am sorry about that I will try to keep it entertaining okay now once you let add your last duo on and you're coming out of your Tila you want to go down through the super duo go down the C bead next to where you're coming out of and pull you want to go back through the round duo and you are going to go all the way around <coughs> excuse me you want to go all the way around until you're coming out of the top duo here so and it can get pretty tight And that's why I've got round nose pliers, so if I have to use them to pull my needle through, then it just makes it so much easier. Go through the seed bead. Like I said, it gets a little, a little tight. My goodness. Oh, I guess I should stay in frame, huh? And go through the top hole and just keep going through the seed bead, the Tila. Darn it. The seed bead, the Tila. Good lord. There we go. The seed bead, Tila. And just keep going around till you get to that top duo. <coughs> oh my goodness. And go ahead and go through the round duo, bottom hole of the round duo and pull your thread now just like on this one you want to go through the top hole of the duo that you're coming out of and pull and again you're going to pick up a seed tila a seed until you have four tilas and a seed bead after each tila this is really a fast project to make it don't take very long at all unless you're like me and you're all thumbs so again that's what it should look like again you want to go around and make a circle and so you're going to go back through the duo that you're coming out of to make your circle always reinforce again keeping good tension you know like what I'm not doing right now Pull tight. Go through the C bead and the duo. And you want to make sure you, <clears throat> again, make sure you have good tension. Go through the C bead. The top hole of the Tila bead. And then again, you're going to pick up your series of beads duo, seed, duo. I mean, seed, duo, seed. Go through the top hole of the next duo, uh, Tila. Seed. Tila, duo, sorry, and seed. I told you would be entertaining, I can't talk. I'll have you all confused by the time I'm done. Seed, duo, seed. Go through the next last Tila and pull. And then you want to go through the seed, the duo, my goodness, what did I do, my lord, I have a knot, okay, and pull, then you want to go through the seed, ouch, Oh, <laughs> 
Mm, my goodness, sorry. I'm get a drink real quick. Okay. And you want to go through the top of the tila, go back around until you get to the top duo. I got a little Sam Cook playing in the back for you. Love Sam Cook. Or is that Jackie? I don't know. Anyway, again, do your series of beads of the seed and the tila. Four tilas and a seed bead after each tila. Oh, come on. Uh, one, two, three, four. Yep. <clears throat> Make sure I'm right. One, two, three, four. Yes. Go back through again in a circle. Go back through the duo in a circle. Or to make a circle. Go back through all your beads again. Again to reinforce it. Keep pretty good tension. Pulling tight. Go through the seed bead and the duo. Go through the seed bead. Ouch! Without stabbing yourself. Okay. I am just all thumbs tonight. Go through the top hole of the tila, next to where you're coming out of. And you don't see any of the thread. See that? Mm, no, can't. But you don't see any of the thread, really. And if you do, not enough to even worry about. Again, you want to pick up seed, duo and a seed. Go through the top hole, the next duo, next tila that across from where you're coming out of. Without getting knots in your thread or anything else. Okay, and pull. Go through, get a seed, duo, and a seed. Go through the top of the, the tila across from where you're coming out of. Pull. A tila, a seed, and a tila. Go through the top hole of the next tila and pull. Go through the seed, tila, no, seed duo. I got tila on the brain. Go through the next seed bead next to the duo where you're coming out of that's not it and pull go through the top hole and back through your beads to get in position for your next unit my goodness there we go And I've been asked before, how come you don't edit your videos? <clears throat> well, one, I don't know how to edit my videos. I'm just new doing this. And two, I like for people to see that I am just a normal person. I am not really professional per se. I just want people to see me for who I am. Like everybody else sees me that knows me. So that is why. K. 
Okay, you're going to pick up your series of C beads and your Tila beads. Remember to have a C bead after each Tila. Go back through the duo that you're coming out of to make a circle. And you want to reinforce that. Oh my goodness. To keep a good tension. It took me, last night I started this, trying to come up with this pattern, and it drove me absolutely crazy. And I do not know why, because I sat down this morning when I got up, and it just come to me, and I had no problem with it this morning. Maybe it was because I was tired, and... I don't know. Okay, again, you want to go through the C bead, duo C bead. Go through the top hole of your Tila. Pick up a seed, a duo, and a seed. Go through the top hole of the next Tila. And pull. Get a seed, duo. And a seed. Go through the top hole of the next Tila. A seed. A duo. And a seed. Go through the top hole of the next Tila. Then you want to go through the seed, the duo, and the seed. If you can pick both seed and duo up at once, then I don't know. I just think it makes it a lot faster. If you can't, just go through them one at a time. I said it does get a little tight. So go through the seed. Come on. Go and go through the Tila and back around to get in position for your next unit. And there we go. And this will be your last unit. And this is how it should look so far. Very pretty. I'm th this camera does not pick up the colors. And it is just absolutely, absolutely gorgeous. I just love it. Go through the top hole of the duo that you're coming out of. And pick up your last series of Tila's and C beads. Oh. And you want to go back through the duo you're coming out of to make a circle. Right angle weave was a hard one for me to get at first. But once you get it, it is very simple. Very easy, I think. Go back through your beads. Always, always reinforce. It's better to have two or three passings than just one. It just makes it sturdier and it lasts longer. Pull. I shouldn't talk so loud. My husband's window's open. And if I wake him up, I don't think he would be very happy with that at all. Okay. You want to go through your seed bead, duo seed bead, go through the top hole of the Tila next to where you're coming out of. And you're going to do your seed bead and duo. Ooh, there we go. I was making this earlier today and I picked up two seed beads 
I picked up a seed bead and a duonus seed, uh, two seed beads, and I didn't realize it until I was on to my next unit. Yeah, that didn't make me too happy. I had to tear it apart and do it again. And there we go. All right. Now, which again you want to go around to get come out here so you can add your clasp because your bracelet's done now you gotta do is just add your closure oh my goodness please don't break I've broke my needles doing this before I'm so hard on them through your seed bead Oh my goodness. And try not to get your threads tangled up with your other beads, which is easy to do too. And. Okay, this does not want to cooperate with me. Alright, so. Once you get all your units, the length that you want, you want to come out of your duo. <clears throat> and you want to, like you normally would do, you want to go through the top hole of your duo. This is where you're going to add your clasp. You can pick up two 11 O's. Go through the dome part, the back side of your cup button pick up a duo just as a little decoration and you don't see the thread either and apparently duos have ho have clo there we go clogged toes so you want <clears throat> add your 2c beads your button and your duo and I think I just ouch. You want to go through the next hoe of your duo and you want to pull. Add two more C beads and go back through the duo that you originally come out of and you want to pull. Go back through all those beads again. goodness and pull back through the duo and this is again to reinforce you don't want your you want to be wearing this and then your project just break and fall apart I mean that would be horrible okay this end of your closure is done and you want to tie a couple of half hitch knots or as many as you want I'm just going to do a couple so you go underneath the thread <clears throat> make a loop go back through that loop and pull go through a couple more ouch without stabbing yourself underneath thread make a loop go through it and pull go down through a couple more and you're ready to cut off your thread now you want to thread the other end here and I got to turn my light on for this so I can see. And this is how I thread mine. I take my thread, I flatten the end, lay your needle, 
and it should slide right in there but of course there we go go ahead and take your thread and run it up through your beads you want to come out this round duo like you did down at the other end go through the top hole of the duo and you want to pick up two three four five six you're going to need more and just enough for your button to slide through um let me see how many i got on this one uh, two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve. I got fourteen. So I've put two, four, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. You want to go back through the duo to make your circle and go ahead and go back through all the beads you just added to reinforce my goodness and you want to make a couple half hitch knots of course I didn't add enough thread down at the end Thread my needle again. Okay. And I may not get to with this. I hope I do. But of course I didn't add enough thread. That's alright. Go up underneath your thread bridge just like I showed you at the other end make a loop and I have to use my fingers because I didn't leave a long enough tail to use my tweezers to help pull my thread through because I my my needle keeps coming off so and this is what happens when you don't measure right and so we're just gonna leave it like that okay so this except for the thread is what your bracelet should look like I'm gonna go ahead and shut my light off now maybe you can get a better This is what it should look like. A beautiful new bracelet with your button as your clasp. Okay guys, I thank you for watching and I am so sorry that this video was so crazy and I can't explain anything or really even talk tonight. But if you like this video, please click like below, subscribe, share this video, leave a comment, and I will get back to your comments. Again, I thank you for watching, and have a great night.